Well, it's essential to living, but for one Hastings toddler, any type of contact with water is very dangerous. And now her parents must figure out ways to keep her healthy without giving little Ivy any water to drink or bathe in. Fox 9's Christina Palladino here with more on this rare condition. Christina, I've never heard of anything like this. Yeah, it's unbelievable. These parents tried everything to figure out what was going on with their daughter. It all started about six months ago. Her reactions are so bad, she even gets blisters from sweating or tears on her face. With her bright blue eyes and adorable smile, Ivy Angerman is full of energy and curiosity like any 18-month-old child. Her parents say she's a happy toddler, except when it comes to bath time. She was recently diagnosed with aquagenic urticaria, a rare allergy to water, which causes severe hives. As a father, it absolutely breaks your heart. I thought about, is she ever going to be able to go to daycare? Is she ever going to be able to go to public school? Is she going to ever be able to go in the ocean? Dan and Brittany Angerman have been told by their doctors that Ivy may be the youngest person to ever be diagnosed with the condition. Symptoms normally appear in teenage years. They have her on antihistamines, which seems to be helping the severity of the reactions. But the couple says little Ivy can only be in the water for up to 15 seconds before her skin starts to burn and develops blisters. Brittany took this video of her reaction to show to doctors. They're also concerned about the long-term effects of the antihistamines. Experts say to minimize Ivy's reactions, they need to purify their water systems and get central air so she doesn't overheat. The family is in the process of moving out of their home, which was built in 1901. Until then, they'll do everything in their power to keep Ivy pain-free and full of joy. It's just a hope that someday she can drink water and be able to live a somewhat normal life. Ivy's parents tell me at this point there is no cure and it's not a condition she can just grow out of. In fact, it only gets worse. They're hoping to get more answers from the Mayo Clinic.